Hello everyone, this time I'm jumping right into the tutorial because I have a lot to cover under 5 minutes. I wanted to get most out of your topography and how to do it very quickly, how to find a proper topography from online source and how to build your curves on the road. So let's start with finding a topo surface for free. If you go to catmapper.com, you just don't even need to have an account, you just um, make a quick um, username and password, it check takes less than 10 seconds and you can right away go and find your location and choose the terrain you are looking for and then hit create a file. Once you hit a create a file, obviously I chose here oh, AutoCAD, I'm looking for AutoCAD, and then obviously I chose this location and I hit create file and it gave me all these options. And then, so then I hit the topography and I downloaded the file. When I open it in AutoCAD, I get something like this. So I get actually 3D surface the line with the contour lines and the topography lines uh, obviously it might look a bit of messy right now but what you can do is you can if you hide um if you hide all these all these items um like i'll keep the contours and then the parts and parts and even you can hide the topography and you will get the contour contour lines so it's quite fast way to get a contour lines right and for free and what i did is i have a clean version over here save the same time and then I'm putting this inside Revit. So what I do is I go import CAD and I am pulling it from origin. I, I will just select um, center to center. I will pull the MC the queen and I will pull the meters and then it will come into my AutoCAD right away. When I get the DWG, I can simply go in 3D and actually visualize my topography in 3D. And in order to create a topo surface from here, um, a lot of people will tell you do point by point the contour lines. No, don't spend the time for it. Instead, just go to massing inside, topo surface, screen from the import, select the instance, select it, and select the contours only. And then boom, that's it. It's fast. You don't have to spend the time and waste time. When you finish it, the next thing is I want to create some roads and I want to create some curves. Other people will tell you use roofs. No way, don't use roofs or other items, just make it in a proper way. So let's go um, to site and let's start drawing some annotation lines and detail lines here. And I will be just randomly doing like some not really great roads. I'm doing something random here. Maybe I will just do something a little bit more like this. And then I will just go a bit more like this. So it has kind of a path. Um, I am going to close this off so I can quickly sketch it and then pick the lines when I need. Always draw the detail lines on, uh, on a side plan so you can actually work with them uh, when you come to play with the topography, split surface and so forth. I will go with the split surface. I select my topography and then I will just click on the pick lines and I will go on one of the lines and click tab to select it, make the selection of the chain. And then I will just hit with the left mouse and finish. So my side is done. So I will just name it asphalt bitumen. And then I will have a different color. Then I will go to the elevation. I will push it down about 100 millimeter. And now you can see there's a gap between my road and uh, topography. The next thing is I would like to create a curves. In order to create a curve, first I need a profile. And I went here and um, let me see the profile over here it is. So railing profile I did by going file, new, um, you go into family and over here you find the metric profile rail. You draw a rail that's um, about 100 millimeter. That's what I did. And I draw a profile that's a little bit more complicated um, than the straight. And then I load it into my project. Once I have it into my project, what I do is I go and quickly create a railing and I make a new railing curve. Obviously, please use the proper type naming or type naming conventions that in your company. Um, in the story, I'm doing it quick, so just don't repeat it in the same way. Um, I will just do it curve. And then I will select my profile from family one and I can choose any material I want. I will just choose brick, that's fine. 
Um, I will. I don't want the top surface, and I will remove all the blasters, and I will select none, and this none, and this is none, and this is none. So this was supposed to be none. Great. Then I will just go pick line, and then the, and I can obviously go to the side plan and pick the line I'm looking for. The problem over here is that please keep watching because it's going to be really important. I will give you a tip. Um, if you finish it like this and try to apply it because your railing will be somewhere over here, if you pick it up and if you pick the hose and pick the surface, you will either get an error or your your most probably your profile will not follow the shape perfectly because it's one single line and it has to be multiple lines. But I also tried to do previously um, division like this and randomly, but it doesn't again work because these curves are not random, so they, it needs a bit more um, logic to that. Therefore, what we need is, uh, instead, we need to do another approach. Um, I'm going to isolate this surface um, right away. So I will go here and isolate the element. I will export it as um, DWG. And then I will just say, you know, like a road portion. And then I will say, OK, um, I will leave the turn on. All right. And I will be inserting it back. Once you export the road, you, you can uh, unhide everything. And now I will be hiding the road and um, the AutoCAD counters. And what I will doing is insert. Um, I will be taking the WG import and the road portion origin to origin and millimeters. And I click open. It comes to the perfect location. Then I simply go and select architecture, railing, the previous railing I did, the type of the curb, and I select one line and I finish the task. Um, what I will do is that it's coming over here. I will be selecting the railing. I will be pick new host. And I will be selecting the topography. Now it will come to the perfect location. Once you pick the new host, what you can do is you can click edit path again, and then you can pick lines in order to continue on building your path. Just make sure that your connections are successfully connected. And if not, you can also insert it into a mass, this object, and create a roof and pick the lines of the roof and then delete the roof afterwards. Both ways will work. Um, obviously, I would prefer the other way instead of this one because this can be problematic at certain points. And you need to just make sure that you pick the lines properly. Since there are out of lines, you have to make sure that I speak properly. So if you're getting out of issues creating, I mean, it depends on your top of surface, but a lot of issues here, what you need to do is you need to simply um, delete this and then go create a massing inside and in place mass. And you need to insert into road, insert the item, the CAD into the mass and then finish it. You can go on to the um, massing aside and select roofs and then select all the items here and then create a roof from there. And then go ahead and hide the mass and then you can start picking the roof roof line, then it, it will be much more accurate because you will not have a lot of cat lines. It will be much more straightforward because Revit already generated the object for you. So um, this time it's safer and more straightforward. And when you finish, you will not have that kind of errors. So it's 100% accurate. Obviously, it depends, um, again, as I said, the complexity of the topography. I hope this tutorial brought a lot of value to you. If you would like to learn more about uh, topography and how to use um, site, site tools and more tools, please comment below. We made a specific playlist for you that will cover amazing tips and tricks for Revit. So you can boost your productivity skills and Revit knowledge when you watch them. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to publish three videos for you. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on. See you next time.